Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Crystal, is that you? Yeah, it's me, bro. Thank God. Chill out, relax. Yeah, this this ain't the first rodeo. No, I'm I'm nervous, dude. Can you can you make sure? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hook make it sure up. Sure, Ali gets the gets the thing because I can't send it on Hangouts as I don't know how um, from my computer it doesn't work. She can't click it from the chat. Well, that's that's what I was trying to tell her that that I left it in the chat. Yeah, the links in the chat. We'll give, we'll give old, hey, Nick, <laughs> give you your 20 minutes, dude. The link is in the chat if you want to come in. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, you know how to solo feed yourself. You can block all that if you're worried about porn stuff. But I'm going to go and look up uh, or uh, hook it up for you real quick if you want to use a background. Yeah, please, please do, Gun. I appreciate yeah, it. I got it, man. No, it, would, it would mean a lot because this... Jesus. I got you, bud. This is... Oh, God. What's what up, everybody in the chat? Out? Am I coming <laughs> in loud? <laughs> Woo. I guess, uh, what? Well, Abe wasn't there, though. What? Abe was, I didn't see what? Abe in the chat. No, I'm just, like, talking like him or whatever. No, he's oh, not yeah. in the chat. He's a pussy-ass bitch. Oh shit! He's probably in his fucking coma right now, dude. Who, you know, I don't give a fuck. Dude. I've already listen. I've slapped his stupid ass around plenty of fucking times, and for him to sit here and try to pull that bullshit and try to make people believe anything that he's already tried once, twice before, he's not he's not running that game very well. Because any dumbass that tries to jump on that bandwagon is going to look just as stupid as him. That's the fucking truth of it. And for Moon Pie and Nick and all, especially Nick, like, I don't even believe your Moon Beam, whatever lady even cares, to be honest with you. But the fact of the matter is that you're a male and you got a fucking ego thing. And I've seen you around before, Nicholas. You're not intimidating, bro. And the videos you do are not that really worthy. So, I mean, if you want some fucking fame off the old gun, then you're just going to look like the next bitch boy that tried that shit before, dude. So, I mean... I got no problem talking to you. I'm not Mr. Vinny G where I'm going to fucking sit there and try to manipulate people and not hear things. And plus, by the way, Vinny, you broke the law, bitch. Yeah. Try to didn't, didn't you, Mr. Vinny G? You fat fucking piece of shit. Call Vinny a groomer and watch him chimp the fuck out. That's what happened to him a few months ago, right, Mr. Vinny? You little bitch. Wasn't I the one that helped you, Vinny? Own AJ's ass, too? Yeah, dude. Don't forget what I did for you, Mr. Vinny. Don't give a fuck about that fucking fat fucker. Fuck him, dude. Do I even go to his sorry-ass channel ever? No. He's a fucking bitch who plays fucking faggoty disco music and jacks off while his wife's sitting in the next room. Fuck him. And his fucking karma slapped him in the goddamn wheelchair, didn't it? And left half your fucking body crippled, bitch. You greasy, pasta-eating pig. I don't give a fuck about that fat fucker, dude. He's a bitch in my eyes, dude. I don't give a fuck, dude. He's, he's like old news, too, by the way. Anyway... I'm going to put up something nice here. Yeah, I'm trying to send a Some relaxing out. stuff. And it's actually fucking early and, like, still morning, right? Like, what the fuck, dude? Why are these people getting on here getting all fucking uppity? Yeah, I like how fucking Evil Abe likes to twist shit and run his mouth and try to make things seem like they're, well, you know, worse than what they are. And if, Nick, if you were smart and educated... You would know the definition, the true meaning of what that word means, fuckhead. Okay, I'm bringing the other account up right now. Oh, it just disappeared, damn it. Um, I've hit the button by mistake. Hold on. Yeah. That way I'll put that up there and we can do a nice... I got it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, because, yes, Nick has been known 
for foreign bombing. He did that. To well, pay. that's just a fucking weirdo, dude. Who gives a fuck, dude? He, he, that's what he does, I guess. He's he's the he's the new troll of YouTube, right? I guess, but... Mister uh, White Supremacy guy who knows all about American political shit. Like, dude, I, I don't knock what you do. I don't care what you do, but like. There you go, gun. If you're gonna try and come at me, bro, and you're gonna act like an idiot and don't know facts, and they're just gonna go off some fucking smarmy fuckface's words and the way he describes it and stuff, then you're just like everyone else that's already been intimidated or jelly or hateful because you don't even need to know me or hear my voice. Just okay, like gun, name. Uh, coming up. So could you get yes. the overlay ready, just in case? I got it right here, bud. I fucking hit it again, didn't I? Damn it. There you go. Some nice, uh, some nice beach setting here. stuff. Go ahead, Nick. Okay, so I have a question. You were, not for you? you were not convicted of anything on February 5th, 2004. Describe your definition of convicted. And how are you doing, Nick? Were you were you not convicted of third degree person under 15, 13 through 15 attempted sexual conduct? Did you read what you just said? What? Did you read what you just said? You're refraining from saying your name, but Did I would you, like no, to. It say. doesn't matter. We can talk like how you want, but I just asked you a question. I'll answer your question. But I, you basically just answered yourself, correct? I don't know. Are are you affirming that that's you? That that, that are this you that fucking, are you fucking affirming how slow you are? No, I'm I'm looking at something. Okay, so what does it say? What does it say? And it what says it say? you are a sex offender. Wow, a lot of people are. But what does it actually say? It says that you attempted sexual. Oh, wow! Attempted, attempted right? third degree sexual conduct with someone ages thirteen to fifteen in two thousand and four. And the charge reads attempted, correct? You were born in 79. This happened in 2004. What were you doing near a 13 to 15-year-old in 2004? It didn't How happen. old were you? Hold on a second. It didn't happen in 2004. And if I was born in 79, do the math. You could answer your it own question. It did happen, again. though. So you're saying it did happen. No, it didn't happen, motherfucker. Now go read what you just said before. You see that word attempted? You were number three active status sex offender registered and you're still not like comprehending it no the charge itself took place in 2002 rewind it look at it your registration start date was february 5th 2004 that's when you were registered as a sex offender yeah so you so az griper how do you feel about having a sex offender as oh, a moderator shut the fuck up Dumb fuck. You're not. No, how do you feel about question. talking how do you to me right feel, now? Let him answer. Feel, hey, how do you feel about talking to me right now? And you're trying to run a game that you can't. I'm exposing. I'm not talking to you. I'm you're talking not about you. Shit, jackass. You're not exposing shit, Nick. Hold on, Allison. Let okay. me okay. Listen, All right. I got this. In the chat feel very enlightened right now. You're enlightened on the word that I can handle your stupid ass. You're trying to run a game. I'm Good assuming charge? that that's the confirmation, correct? You're confirming. That you are a convicted sex offender. I wasn't convicted by a trial or jury, Nicholas. So, but you are a convicted sex offender. No, Fuck you, no, you, you, you're not listening. We don't fuck around with pedos, dude. Dude, if I use this, let me tell you something. If you was, first of all, first of all, if you was to say that in my face, I would punch you in your fucking nose, dude. You are a convicted sex. And another thing is, you don't know the definition between a pedophile, a predator, and all the other shit. You're you're a convicted sex offender, and that's all that I need to say. You're disgusting, right. Az oh, Griper. Oh, oh, Az disgusted. Griper, I'm disgusted. I'm gonna shut expose up, you too. I'm oh, shut you're up. You know what the problem is? You make us, you make us literally vomit. Well, well fucking vomit. Get it over with. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Enjoy, thing. Griper. Enjoy. You stink, little shit. You, know, you can't know what you're doing. Oh, you're no you're building a little sex offender hovel. People that no. support sex offenders, you're going to be a sex offender support group soon. Oh, well, what happened? Nasty. What, hey, nasty. What happened, what happened to evil? You're nasty, bitch. What happened to evil? Shut up, people. Talk like fucking adults. Don't be no, crazy. we let the non-sex offenders speak first. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, all well, the non-sex offenders speak first. Hey, well, I'll tell you what. Griper, Griper. Yeah. How do yeah. you feel about having a sex offender as your chat moderator? Hey, man, I'm staying out of this. I'm just letting no, you No, 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 no. That's your mod, bro. That's your mod. That's your mod. You choose hey, uh, him. He has blocked me and subjugated I what I've had to say about him. I didn't to expose his ass. Didn't How many you, accounts, Scraper? How many I accounts did I come in and I didn't dislike you once? I didn't yeah, dislike you did, your bitch. stream one yeah, time. You did, bitch. I'm trying to Why? give you the benefit no, of the doubt because hard, I think dude. you're a good person. You did cheat recently. Oh, you are a God. cheater. He's a cheater. What are you? You are a cheater. cheater. And that's not cool. I never cheat on but, my no, oh, well, you know what? You got real close to some e thought. I know. I saw what happened right here. Hey, hey, Nick. Oh, ask man. Evil Abe why he was a mod in my chat just last week, bitch. Huh? Speak up, Nick. Fucking lying little bastard. No, don't boot him. Well, he oh, left. Oh, well, he left because he's a pussy. He couldn't get his way. He couldn't answer his own fucking questions. He's a bitch. Bring his ass yeah, back yeah, up here, dude. Uh, Bring his ass course. back. I want his ass back up here. He can shut his goddamn thing that's next to him running her mouth and be a man and talk to me like a fucking man. He can run that sex offender fucking game all goddamn day. The fact of the matter is, fuck face. That shit happened in 2002. I was accused, you fucking idiot. And another thing is, I took a plea. Sure. Not a conviction, but yes. Plea sure. to admit of... Hold on, AZ, please. Plea of admit to the guilt means guilt itself. We all know that as Americans in the court systems, knucklehead. But the fact of the matter is, you got people like Evil Abe that want to sit there and call it rape and all this other shit. No one was raped. No one was that. The statements that are out there are bullshit. That's why they charged me with an attempt, screwhead. Do you understand that, Nick? Are you just too filled with jealousy and hate and envy already that a sex offender slapped your fucking ass with the truth, bitch? Sorry, but I'm pretty sure your fugly ass would do the same fucking thing. No, you're just a tough guy that would sit his fucking ass in jail and not 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 try to take an easier way out, right? Come back up here, Nick. Grow some balls, dude. Don't be like evil anus and run away, dude. Don't be like the rest of the bitches. Because I'll tell you what, you want to run that game. You have a you have it modded in here. I'm modded into a lot of people's fucking channels, Nicholas. You're not going to win this little war, and you're trying to pick something you can't fucking win already. And that's a fact, dude. Hey, hey, no, no, hey, Kermit sipping on tea. Nobody admitted to shit. See, that's your problem, fuckhead. There, there's Nick. Now, Did I, I admit to shit? I to speak with him. Hold on, hold on a minute. Hey, Nick, Jamie, me. you know what? Yes, let Nick up I don't here. talk to you, so shut the fuck up. I'm not running away from anything. Hey, he took me out of the stream. AZ okay. Graper removed me from the stream. I haven't <laughs> ran from that. Moderated me. Sorry. Go ahead. Speak your mind. I will give you the freedom of speech. No, I'll let him up here and sit and try to bash what okay, he so wants. But he wants facts. I'll give him facts. I've never taken a plea deal. And people know who I am. And they want to hurt me. And they want to kill me. And you know what happened last time they wanted to put me in jail? And they were saying I did something that I didn't do? I said, fuck that. I fought it. I had to go to court seven times. Dude, I risked going to jail. So when did you I. didn't do something, yes, I did, you don't bargain. Yes, especially I did. when you didn't. You didn't. Hey, I fought. Especially with something like that. Well, because I, it's on your... Oh, my God, dude. You're an idiot. You don't think I don't know that, Nicholas? You did it. Nick. Even if you didn't do it, you it did it on paper now. now. It doesn't matter, Nick. I had to live with that decision. I fought it for seven fucking months sitting in jail when I had a house payment to pay and things I had All right, a job. Again, as an anonymous account, we don't need to know about your sex offender history, who you are, what you look like, what your name is. Start over. Well, Get Nick, out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Start over what? Start over. We don't need to know. Gross. It's disgusting. We don't want to know that about you. Dude, you're an Go idiot, start bro. You're an idiot. You sound like a yeah. fucking Being idiot. Like, Being labeled as one does not make you one, fuckface. It just makes you one of the eyes of the people that want to run that game that way. It's All not right, dude, but go be Cocaine Charlie. Go go be Heroin uh, Harry or something. But you got to change it up. You got you to gotta delete all your accounts. 
and change it up now because people know your history and you will forever be labeled as gross, dude. No one wants to be associated with you. Listen, I don't even want to be associated with you, and people fucking hate me, dude. People fucking want to rip my throat out. You're right. I understand what you're trying to do now. You're trying to go off the crystal meth legacy, that whole name, dude. It doesn't matter. They're going to recognize every single name is tainted. Every it's all tainted by like a sex offense. You can't come back from that. It's not. Tainted. You got to go. Okay. And so do I. I got to go. I have I have to get back to my family. But you you got to you got to like, I guess you got to start over, bro. I don't know what to say. Oh, I'm sorry to break your heart. That's not going to happen, dude. You're just going to have to be like the rest of the people and swallow that pill, I guess. You know, make your own decisions and how you feel and move the fuck on. Don't let it obsess you now because there's a lot of obsessors, bro. And Evil Abe is one of them. Next time you want to talk about stuff, ask Evil Abe why he tried the same thing you tried now a year ago, but only came back on my fucking channel several fucking times on my panel, partying, drinking, kissing my ass, even over there on Lisa and Pagels, who you don't get along with, and I'm not really tight with them anymore these days. But just ask yourself these things. They have no problem being my friend when we're getting along, but the minute I have a falling out with them, they want to bring up a history thing that never really even fucking happened. It was an accusation. I was young, and I took a fucking plea. I thought I did what was best for me. Obviously, yeah, I got to live with the fucking consequences of that being labeled as that. How do you think I fucking feel? You don't think I'd wake up every day and deal with that? If I was a predator... I would, in 17 years, I never had another accusation or charge. And mind you, this all took place in a public fucking setting. Did you know that or no? You just don't care. <sighs> what do you do, leave? I guess he did because he had yeah. to have something else. To yeah. Do. Owned again, dude. You had time to come in here with your thousand little, sorry, 20 little accounts. And type what you typed. You came up here and tried to run your fucking game. And you read off fucking what's on the fucking site. Obviously, you still don't even know fucking truth from whatever. And you don't even know what a pedophile is, dude. I like how they also try to say babies, right? Like that screwhead dog psycho flathead, right? Babies, right? Now now we went from, from teens, teens, okay? Accusing me of doing something. To now we're going to call them infants, right? Who wrote statements with Crayola crayons. And then, then you got people saying, oh, he raped three girls. How do you, first of all, rape three fucking people and you're not in jail for life? And you got it, it doesn't even say rape on the fucking case, dude. They would not, mind you, if the DAA had you dead to rights, Nicholas, they would not plead bargain with you. All right, I got you. First of all, okay? They wouldn't right, come with people with that. They would, they would nail your ass whatever. There you go. And I hate, I can't stand people when they say, oh, well, I would never plead guilty of something to get out. Bull fucking shit. How many people, since you know, you know, you're all about the American political not system, brother. justice system and stuff, right, Nick? How many people would you say no actually would take a plea to get out of a lesser charge or a greater charge or, or anything to get out of jail with? You know what I mean? You've never been in that situation, Nick, and you say you got people that hate you and they want to come after you and stuff, but you want to come online and pick fights with people and be a little clock chasing bitch, right? You a troll or you a content creator? I mean, what is it, dude? Do we have to do it up a later time? Not getting rid of the fucking crystal meth name, dude, just because you fucking don't like it. Sorry, dude. You wouldn't get rid of a Nick or Nick Nazi or whatever the Nine Inch Nails or whatever the fuck you try to go by. And, and another thing is, you, I wasn't blocking you, dude. In fact, I was in the chat saying, don't block him anymore, you guys. Um, Nick, Let him fucking talk. Block I'll him. talk to him. So, Nick, you're, you've got What's the floor. Bro. Hey, okay, so when you didn't do something, and you're, if your lawyer gave you that advice, he screwed you yes, royally. Yes, I will agree. He did. And guess you're, what, you, know you're, what that, you know what the sad part but, about it is, too, Nick? Is that seven or eight years later, I had a probation violation because I, I was put on probation and, and that's just right. That's how I was put on fucking probation to begin with. I violated that with a dirty drug test and he became my fucking attorney for that again. So he railroaded me twice. Yeah. So what, uh, what ended up happening, dude, is you didn't ask for the evidence that they had against you or your lawyer thought that the evidence was stacked. 
Well, yeah, it was, and that's why those those so called statements were all scribble scrabble. And if you look closely in the statements, one line says he touches us this way, but in the next sentence and line of the same statement says, "Well, two inches away when he throws us in the pool." This all happened in a pool, man. With the who parents would there, up, huh? Who would be so? Who would be so invested? Like, what would the I understand, like, the someone, like, the someone that does a lot of politics or something like that. Like, I would never go to a public pool, ever. No, this, this was – like, well, the only thing that was a public about it is because we all lived in the complex together. And the guy was a maintenance man. He was the pool attendant guy that there, and he was drinking. So I used to get weed off the motherfucker. I started having an affair with his fucking wife, okay? That's the fucking truth of that shit. He found out. And uh, I guess they were they were saying, oh, I don't like it. He used to call me model man or because he used to lay out in the sun and get a suntan. Dude, I was 21 years old, man. And this motherfucker, uh, how did how did it go? Let's see. I was, they said I was throwing him in the pool inappropriately. But the parents are there. This went on for like, I don't know. I would come back and, and like a week later in the pool, nothing would happen. And I would fucking uh, get weed off him drink with him because they had adult hour swim at, at noon where, where it was just the adults hanging out so we would all sneak alcohol into this fucking you know the pool and hang out and enjoy the summer or whatever later on i come by his place he had a party and there was a bunch of people over there and i was i pulled up and i he said uh his wife or someone started throwing accusations hey you touch my fucking kid and blah 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 and doing all this stuff I'm like, what the fuck's this? What's the fuck's going on? What's he talking about? He said, don't worry about it, dude. I'll handle it and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Come to find out, the cops came to my house later on that night and he asked me, well, you know, they're saying this. Did this happen, this and this and this? And I said, no. They said, well, okay, well, you'll probably have to talk to a detective or somebody in the next week or something or whatever. They took my name. They did all this stuff. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to like really I like see. remember everything. So I went and talked to the detective after that. Yeah, like I didn't get arrested for nothing or anything like that at all. And I went and talked to the detective without an attorney represented. And basically what they did was by me talking about it and stuff, they decided to press charges, bring charges up or whatever, because the state picked them up. And they just started pushing it, like the, the family or whoever, because they couldn't, because they kept seeing me come around hanging out with people and friends. And they would, they would just, it was a fight every day, like, you know? So I stayed away from these people, and uh, I went to court over this. And mind you, they were trying to say, it's called child abuse when it all first started, Nick. Nick, are you still here? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, yeah they Nick, tried to charge me with child abuse. If you go look at the original charges, they tried to charge me with child abuse. So how do you go from, yeah, yeah, saying these things that people said I did, and you're getting charged with child, like, being vulgar to a child, yelling at a kid, or just, you know, roughhousing with them. That's what I did, and they, that's why they stuck with, they tried to stick me with that charge, which that was the first charge I pled guilty to, dude, was child abuse. I actually took a plea of that because they were th not threatening me with it, but you can go to trial and fight it, which I should have fucking did, but they were throwing that 15-year max shit at me, and I'm 21. I don't know the legal system. Ignorance of the law is my own fucking fault. And I fucking, I fucking ran. I said, okay, fine, whatever. We'll give you probation. And they gave me fucking probation. Now, while on probation, and this is the part where people like Bacon and all these other fuckheads don't understand. I violated probation with a dirty urine sample for marijuana. I get locked up. It was July. I remember being in jail July 16, 2003. And that was on a probation charge for the child abuse accusation bullshit, which I took a plea to. Was never proven guilty in a court system, you know, or, or a jury. Upon the violation, when I go to the, in front of the judge on the arraignment for the violation, they brought up the CSC charge, a new charge, which means they were trying. There, someone came forward and tried to make it seem like I had done something to them. And that's when they started saying, okay, well, we got them now. Now we're going to get them on the website. Now we're going to put them, you know. And I had to fight that for seven, maybe seven and a half months. I sat in the county jail. But only in the first two months when I was locked up, I took the very first plea they ever gave me, which was CSC. It did. I don't believe it had the word attempt on it or nothing. 
They just gave me the plea and they said, we'll give you 36 months. That's three years. Well, but that's everybody's, that's everybody's tale is I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And then it also takes away from the witness statements, the, the credibility and the, the victimhood of these people. I mean, they deserve the right to feel their emotions, have their feelings validated by whatever they wrote on the paper that was upheld by the yeah, court. Yeah, because I actually, right, I actually, well, at a time when this first started, I talked to a lawyer and a retainer, and he wanted 2500 You know, I didn't have that type of money. I didn't have two grand to just say, here you go right away. And he even said, put them on the stand, and if they, you know, get, their statements already confolded them, folded them, you know what I mean? They said one thing and said another in the statements. That, mind you, Vinny G is not supposed to have. He is breaking not only federal laws, but... The victims themselves, Vinny G, if they find out you have that access to that shit, because you're not supposed to have it, you know you're not, it's not supposed to be displayed on public platforms such as YouTube, you're not supposed to do videos of this type of shit, you're not even technically supposed to harass anybody from the sex offender website to begin with. It's called harassment, because when you enter those sites, there's a little box that says, if you see anybody on the site, you shall not harass, intimidate, stalk, provoke, yada, yada, yada. But well, how just, do you feel about this? What? In my neighborhood, there's a homeless one of those. So he might be anywhere. We're what do you think about? we should do about that? Because I say we, I mean, not that one in specific, but I think that within the next 10 years, we should enact some, you know, some laws to start. Well, you that's know, the thing I was going to say. But I don't want to get off topic on that, but that's a very good topic. Much because, protection. because sooner that's or later, actually, we yeah. have to come to the, we have to come to the solution yeah. That these people need to be necked because we're just proliferating normalization of pedophilia. If we accept them into our community and well, let them read. Say, statistics say most men are attracted to, you know, uh, younger women to begin with. That's that's just a known fact. Like, it's just in our, it's our genes, it's our history, dude. It's, it's uh, something that you can educate yourself on or whatever. I can't really disclose the right words to say it. Because I'm trying to like uh, some people on. might agree with you, but my wife and I are both 31. We got yeah, married. Well, all of my girlfriends have been over. We've known each other since we were 15. Yeah, and everyone I've ever dated or been intimate with can buy a fucking beer. So I'm just saying, uh, I want to go back to where I took the first plea. I don't want to lose that because I want to make sure you understand where I'm coming from on that, and then we can discuss because I I am actually fighting that because I do believe that there should be a radius and uh things because there are people on the site that that didn't do shit and are still like their wife said they took the pussy like you're married and your wife just comes out and said oh yeah he took the pussy he raped me you know the, like a wife a married woman can say that about her husband and he's you know bam he's done whatever it is but that's the that's why we have to eventually change the system that we're living in, if, if that's what you... But honestly, there's nothing we could do Well, there is. It. There is right now in the state, in the, in the Michigan Where state. Where a body cam. Yeah, in the Michigan, there's actually the Supreme Court, just went to Supreme Court, and it's and it, they won. But they're just dragging their feet over it. Like, there's people that are still sitting on that site that they haven't took off yet. And that's another yeah. thing that, like, I can fight as well. I don't know if they can. I don't know. Fun. Every person that I've seen on that website, it looks like a nasty motherfucker. Yeah, I know. My, my fucking Dang. website ain't all that. I had cancer, dude. I don't know what to say. But, I mean, people have seen me since last year, last summer, and all that stuff. But I don't need to get into who's handsome and who's not. My first – I'm going to go back. My first plea, I took it three years. I'm like, oh, yeah, I could do three years. No problem. I get back to the holding tank, okay, and I talk to an old head, an old timer, right? And uh, he's like, what the fuck, boy? What the fuck's wrong with you, man? You took a motherfucking plea like that? That's can I, can I like, stop with the, with the noise, please? Whatever that is, please? What, what did I do? I don't know. It's robot, man. Hey, uh, boss, boss is going to my mouth. That's a griper. Yeah. Can, Hello. Just, just, just try and mute. Just try and mute real quick. Yeah, I'm just guy guys came in with one idiot. Oh, man. If, if, if you know, anybody wants to come up and talk about whatever. All right, now you sound like a character off Star Wars. You sound like something that died. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Can just mute for a sec so I can, like, get this. I don't want to waste all day on this. 
<laughs> but anyway, I took the I took the initial plea right for three years, and uh, this old head is you know told me, "Well, what's wrong with you, man? You need to take your motherfucking plea back. That's a hearsay case." So when I went back to court in two weeks after that, I said, "I wanted to re- take my plea back," so I did. And I said, "Okay, fine." Uh, they adjourned it or something. I sat in jail for another five months or whatever. And they just kept adjourning it and adjourning it and adjourning it. And I'm like, fuck, man. what? I want out of here. I don't want to be sitting in jail no more. And my lawyer said, well, they'll give you one year in the county jail and, and three years probation. And I said, what do you mean? He, well, it's a cap. It means you, you'll you have to take a plea to this, plead guilty to this, and we'll, you'll you know be on your merry way. No big deal. I'm like, what well, will it go on my record? He said, well, yeah, because you're pleading, you're taking a plea to this charge. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, well, fuck, I want out. I don't care. Fuck it. I was 21. I, 22. Because in 2003. 20, 28. No. 2002, I was 21. Okay. I'll, I'll explain how that works because I was born in 1979. Okay. And right. in the year 2000, just to sum it up, in the year 2000, I turned 20. And that's how, like, if I forget. I was reading someone's comment. They were saying 28. No, 28 was when I was released from fucking prison. Or 29. How did you survive in there with an offense like that? The same way I survived. Were you PC'd up? No, no, never, dude, never. I went to the hole for not. You never PC'd up. No, I was on a level two fucking yard in Adrian, dude. I went to fucking, I was in the Jackson behind the walls, man. And what was your charge? This is what you just read. Jesus Christ, man, they should have stabbed you eight times. Yeah, well, they wouldn't because I would fucking tear their fucking heads off. I don't know, man. There's these guys in there, they work out all day. That's all they uh, do. I did too, bro. I was in the fucking weight pit, man. I was making hooch, dude. You know, I was making spud juice and shit for these motherfuckers, dude. I was, I was, I was light. Sorry. When I got tattooed up and stuff and my clown tattoos shined across the fucking yard, I was recognized, dude. All I had to do was set an example, like, you know, hey, Max Cady, you know, from fucking Cape Fear. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different world in the prison system, dude. Not not everybody thinks, yeah, there are some fucking people that get fucking choked up and ran for everything they are, you know. But, I mean, I never had a problem with that, dude. And if So I got to ask you something. I got to ask you something. Yeah. Are you, are you, since you've been to prison, what, 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 who did you run with? Were you with the skinheads or with, were you with, uh, the Aryan, Aryan power? I had, were you with I had, like, uh, Christian, Christian brotherhood or Christian identity? Who did you learned, run with? I learned that, uh, you don't follow groups like that as much because, I mean, I, I hung with the Aryans. Yeah. I hung with a lot of them. Uh, I didn't nearly have to, I don't know. It was weird. I was a level two, you know, it wasn't like I had to be like a level five or four. They didn't have level threes, ironically. So when you're on the inside, you have these racial views, right? Yeah, yeah. It's how, do you, all... how do you not allow it to spill onto the outside, or does it? You don't get you don't get in deep like that. You 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 gotta watch. You you give respect to earn respect. Like you don't marquette somebody. Marquette meaning you don't eyeball them. You don't stare. You know you you really gotta watch what you do and how you your your swagger your mouth the way you look at people and uh that's oh, yeah. in prison that's yeah. in prison yeah well it's okay in the world. so when you come to the outside right yeah all these all these things that you talk to the aryan brothers about about mm-hmm. oh you know fuck niggers and fuck jews and shit like that like what what happens to that lingo like where does it go what what do you do with that if you're not i'm gonna tell you if you're not in the gang or you're not like really affiliated with you don't join them like you can coexist with people that are like how you're saying now and like i've watched this movie i think it was called shot caller and you can you might like that movie actually and uh it's called shot caller i think that's what it's called it's a new one it's no on but Netflix. like I, I understand i've seen other people from the internet right and they've been to prison and they come out and they still uphold the same racial views as they had in prison because they were from a racial prison gang. But that is like, so not true. It's not even much, funny. You're pretty much politically correct for the most part. Uh, yeah, right? but I, I didn't, I didn't, and that wasn't my lifestyle. I didn't live like that. You know, I wasn't, but I, I know what you're saying. Dude, all across America. For most different. people from jail do. 
most people from the prison system do they have to it's like a code it's like a it's your uniform your skin color is your uniform i have a question and i'm not trying to interject because i have many families that are in the prison system so i know everything that you guys are talking about because i just got done with dealing with my brother from a 10-year bed in one of the worst jails in san quentin when you're a white boy you stick with the white boys that's what it is. There, the whole race thing. That's what it is. The blacks yeah. stay with the blacks. The Mexicans they have, stay with the they have right. They have a well. So, they have so a you white have, line. You have what? When you're going through, you have the what, like thirty. You have like thirty YouTube accounts, right? You can get around and shit. Why don't you? Why, like, I don't see that you have a focus or anything like that. Like, I'm just saying, like someone who's been to prison that like is open about their history and stuff like that. Like you. Honestly, I'm only open the when only I need way that you could, I, I like, I don't even know. I, I don't even know if your reputation is even salvageable at this point, dude. Even if you turned into like a hardcore white nationalist that people could respect. <laughs> Listen, you're, you're talking about a reputation on YouTube. Like that's, uh, What's up, thing. like that's not what people I'm... sue each other. People sue each other over internet reputation nowadays. You didn't hear I don't know any of that. That see, that's a whole nother ball game. That you're, you're, that's your thing. On I'm not YouTube, even bro. down. No, I'm not opening that can of worms, my friend. That's not what I'm saying here. But I want to say I'm something to hand. It happens. People do care. Look, no, look, but look, like the name, yeah, like on, everyone, on, on, everywhere you go, look, all these big streamers. I'll tell you what happened. I was in Vinny G's stream, right? And um, someone named Mandy was accusing my wife of posting a video about someone else, right? And what, what ended up happening was um, Mandy had a screenshot of, like, a video list. Like, she took a screenshot of the, uh, the notifications of new videos on YouTube on her account. And Crystal Meth Machine Gun had uploaded an, a video, and Vinny G asked Mandy, this is a hippie Mandy, uh, do you subscribe to Crystal Meth Machine Gun? And Mandy said, well, no. He, he First, he said, do you support Crystal Meth Machine Gun? And she said, no. Why? And he said, because you're subscribed to him. And at first, she denied being subscribed to you. Like, oh, well, no, I'm not. That's not my screenshot. And then later on, it came around that she was lying and she Mandy? got in trouble. Are we talking about she got in Mandy trouble that, for uh... lying. And said, and, and they, they were saying, well, you do subscribe to Crystal Meth Machine. It is your screenshot. You told people it was your screenshot. And so anyway, the reason why Vinny G was pissed off that Mandy was supporting you, quote unquote, I don't know if she supported you or just subscribed to one of your channels, was because Vinny G was going around and, and telling everybody this what yeah, Vinny, that Mr. Vinny G. Said. Yeah, Vinny G was trying to run a game of, oh, you support this person because you're in that. I feel chat, like you only or... support somebody if you're giving them money. Yeah. Oh, hey, Jamie. <laughs> to be honest. Hi, guns. Um, hi, boss. I, I, hey. I just want to say something as far as like my interactions with gun, and I tell you, I've talked to this man like publicly and privately. And I can say that his story has not changed one time. And I can honestly say that, you know, if, if you know anything about the brain and how the brain works and, you know, your frontal lobe or whatever, I don't think as a, a 20, young 20-year-old person, he knew the ramifications of what he was doing as far as, like, how this was going to affect his life, his entire life. You know what I mean? Uh, I, think, I don't know. You know I was some in, of us have been in situations like, you know, when I was like 17, I had to be in a situation where I pled to something. I don't know, because when I was 19, right, I was in. I'll tell in you, like, you're, see, when it's over with, how do I go back to work? You've got to learn. Once you're on your own in the world, you've got to, you know, learn how the system works. Because if you don't, then you'll get wiped out by a wave. You do, but a lot of times you don't. You, you. I mean, and as a, as a mom with a son, it greatly concerns me. You know, I mean, I would never want my child to have to go through something he has gone through. I want to just say this one thing to get this to Hanson. Here we go. Hanson, would you like to take a seat? 
No, that's bullshit. But anyway, no Hanson. Level two is not pedos, okay? Level two is just a like custody. He level has no idea what he yeah, he has like, no idea. A level okay. two is just a level of your fucking offenses. If you've been fucking okay, yeah. I'm lifers, lifers, right? Lifers cannot exceed level one. They, the lowest they can go is level two. I had lifers who were cop killers in my fucking two by eight cell. You know what I mean? Like the thing no. about it is that when it comes down to the situation is, is I don't know your whole situation, okay, man? I just have family members that have been in prison, and I have two of them that are sitting in life first. You mean, I know about this whole prison system and everything like that. Don't get it twisted. I've been where, are you, where, where are you from? Uh, I'm from California. I'm from the worst. He's from Cali. I've talked to Boss on the phone. She really is about that life. <laughs> she, I've talked to her several times. She really is about that life. I got. I, I got to go. Everyone. Nick, okay, Nick, Nick. At least you were man enough to talk. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it, and I yeah, I heard you, you out and gave you here. a chance because not everybody knows. Not everybody knows your story from from start to finish, and I appreciate that you were willing to come on here and tell me. I mean. And and it is what it is. But thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. You know what? Nick, I've always liked you, man. I never had no. I'm problem. not gonna. I'm not gonna porn bomb anybody. Okay, I'm out. Bye. Yeah. All right. Later, man. Ray Ray, you're an idiot. You're not even liked, Ray Ray. Yes, she is. She's. I like Ray Ray. I think I'll talk to Ray Ray later. Okay. Bro, I don't like her. You Ray used to like her. Just... Come on. <laughs> I, could get, I used to get along with her. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> My thing is is going. Can you guys hear me a little better? Yes, we can hear you perfectly. You know, Gun, I don't have an issue with you at all. I don't even know you to have an issue with you, okay? But, you know, I've heard from Abe that you have a sexual charge. So did we get all this ironed out now?